People say you can't discuss colours and taste. That's true and not true, as there are a lot of things everybody agrees on, basic rules that you should respect as an interior designer. Colours you like are individual and therefore different from person to person. It is, however, important to combine them in the right way. On top of that, there are a lot of other factors that play a huge role in enhancing colours. Lighting, for example, is very important in an interior, in order to create the right ambience. That's why I sometimes replace all the light bulbs by other bulbs with a higher colour temperature. Every detail is important because the ambience you create is the sum of all small details put together. One single bad choice can ruin the whole interior. A house only becomes a home when there is a true ambience. And that is a question of using the right materials in the right place. As soon as I enter my house, I feel at home. The choice of floor covering plays a big role in that. The warmth and comfort of Broadloom carpet are indisputable. There's a perfect carpet for every interior, as they come in all different colours, textures and designs. So you can match it beautifully to your curtains, wallpaper, paint and other fabrics. Only the exceptional ambience that carpet creates always stays the same. When you want to turn your house into a cosy home, Broadloom carpet for sure is always the best choice. Even the smallest child knows that. Good. Well, we're about just ready, so... Um... OK, Rosie, my dear, are you OK? OK. Lovely, OK, we're going to launch a recording. OK, and in three, two... Here we go. My heart is locked and will be open for you. So what I do is basically I record voiceovers and uh, music uh, on a daily basis. A uh, three minute song, for instance, can easily take three weeks of work. Uh, we obviously like things to be perfect. Uh, well, in order to achieve that perfection, you need the right environment. Professional recording studio like this one is what we call a controlled environment. Um, nothing is really left to chance. We have the best techniques, but you obviously uh, need the best acoustics. Uh, to achieve that, you really need good furnishing. I know I have to feel the Sound absorption is crucial in a studio. Um, the panels that you see here uh, basically absorb sound. Sound has a tendency to bounce against the walls, the ceiling, floors. Uh, that would create uh, pitch distortion, uh, reverberation, known as what we know as reverb. So if you take those panels away, this room would sound very much like a church. Well, I'm very passionate about music and sound in general. I do tend to take it home with me, obviously for my own pleasure. When I listen to music or watch a film, I do like to have the same professional environment as at the studio. That's why I have wall-to-wall -wall carpet. It absorbs sound, very much like the acoustic panels in the studio. You know, you can have a great stereo system, you can have high-end speakers, you can have gold-plated cables. But you take all of that technology and you put it on a hard floor and it all goes to waste. I do have a high-end system, it's a 5.1 Dolby surround system. I do have a big subwoofer. I like to feel the sound as well as hear it. But obviously I don't want my neighbours to feel it, let alone hear it. Carpet is really good for sound absorption. Um, my stereo system sounds really great and it keeps my neighbours away from my front door. Mm. Single glazed windows. 
I help people saving money by making their house less energy intensive. There are a lot of elements that have to be taken into account. That's why the advice of a professional is always very useful. In a lot of houses, money is literally thrown through the windows. Take this villa, for instance. It has an undeniable charm, but it's very badly insulated. And bad insulation can make you lose so much money. Things can easily be improved. Single glazing can be replaced by double glazing. One can easily replace an old boiler, insulate a roof or new pipes. Believe me, better insulation can make a huge difference. As a professional, I have a tendency to always apply the advice I give to my clients in my own house. That's why we have broad loom carpet pretty much all through the house. You have to know that carpet is a very good thermal insulator. You can easily put your thermostat one or two degrees lower when you have carpet and so save on a lot of energy. When you associate comfort to heating, you should think about carpet straight away. It's warm and comfortable. Broad loom carpet makes you save on energy and therefore on expenses. The money we save warms us up in the summer and it pays for our holidays. Accidents are lurking around every corner and a construction site is full of such corners. You need to be cautious, particularly at a construction site where you really have to pay attention to every detail. The right advice can make a big difference. As safety coordinator, I'm responsible for providing this advice. Because safety is an issue that concerns everyone. Today, it concerns the construction workers. Tomorrow, it will be the inhabitants of this house. Safety is no coincidence. You can actively contribute by making smart decisions and identifying the appropriate operating methods and materials. Accidents can easily happen at home, especially when you get older and aren't so good on your feet anymore. Like my mum, who is going to move in with me. I'm reducing the risk by getting broad loom carpet fitted everywhere. You can't slip as easily on carpet as you can on harder flooring. I hope that my mother will stay in good health for a long time. Joking aside, broad loom carpet is safe for both young and old. I prefer my kids playing on a soft carpet floor than on a hard floor. A house can only be a home when you feel safe in it. And if something does happen, you have a softer fall on Broadloom carpet. I don't need to worry too much about safety, because I know that my mother won't break another bone as easily on a carpeted floor. You often hear ominous messages about fine dust particles and other health hazards, but it's usually concerning the air outside. Health experts all agree that we also have to avoid poor air quality inside within our buildings. Volatile organic compounds, or VOCs as they're also known, that are sometimes emitted by cleaning products, construction materials, and stationary products like glue, tape, and markers can have a negative influence on the air inside, as people themselves can. After all, people are the opposite of trees. We breathe in oxygen and we breathe out CO2. I work at an advice bureau that specializes in indoor air quality and indoor climate. It's not very nice to work in unpleasant, unhealthy surroundings. It's hard to produce a good job if your employees are simply feeling uncomfortable. 
Of course you could open the windows, but they... Well, you can't manage what you can't measure. That's why we put measuring tools in buildings like this office. So we can check whether the temperature and humidity are ideal for the employees. We're very focused on the air quality. We can measure the amount of CO2 and CO levels, and we can also measure the amount of dust particles in the air, especially the fine dust. <laughs> well, an insufficient air quality can have lots of negative effects on the health of the employees, going from dry skin to coughing, shortness of breath, exhaustion, irritated eyes to dizziness. Carpet can contribute significantly to the quality of the air indoors. Household dust, fine dust particles, and other possible allergens like house dust mite excrements just fly around. When you have wall-to-wall -wall carpet, those fine dust particles get stuck in the three-dimensional pile structure of the carpet. Carpet keeps those particles out of the air by acting like a dust trap. So all you have to do is just vacuum regularly. In rooms with a hard floor, the dust particles just fly around in the air with every move that you make. Hey, darling. No one here, thanks. Outside. Hi. Oh. Hey. <laughs> How was that? I'd be a very bad advisor if I didn't follow my own advice, right? It's very important to me to have the best possible air quality at home as well. So we decided to have an advanced ventilation system in the house and wall-to-wall -wall carpet. The thing is, my boy has asthma. He gets that from me. And I was reading some scientific articles in which the German Asthma and Allergy Association recommends the use of broad loom carpet instead of hard flooring. And now he's crawling around on the carpet. Anyway, the inside climate also benefits from this wall-to-wall -wall carpet, and it's very nice to come home to this cosy warmth. I'm reassured that the air quality is very good, but sometimes it can be compromised. That's nothing to do with the carpet, right? Uh, uh.